Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Sandra Bullock and Bradley Cooper, two of Hollywood's top stars, scared up few moviegoers over the holiday weekend. Our Brand is Crisis, a political satire about campaign strategists in Bolivia, starring Bullock, earned a scant $3.4 million at the box office. Burnt, a restaurant drama headlined by Cooper, managed only an estimated $5 million. Ridley Scott's 3D space adventure The Martian held on to first place for the fourth weekend in a row, with $11.4 million. A French court has ordered the reviewer of a restaurant to pay $8,200 in damages for a bad review. The reviewer wrote the remarks on a site similar to Yelp five days before the new restaurant had even opened. The reviewer wrote that the unopened restaurant was very overrated with very little on the plate. The French judge said negative reviews are normally okay, but not on a restaurant that hadn't even opened yet. A local reporter in Kansas City was interviewing Royals fans last week, including a drunk guy in a blue Santa outfit, who immediately dropped an F-bomb on live TV. You could tell he didn't actually mean to do it because his eyes got really wide and he covered his mouth with his hands. So the reporter tried to keep going, but then cut him off because the guy was just too drunk. Here's the audio. Look who's here, Blue Santa. What did you think about today? Oh my God, the last two days were Now explain this outfit. What? Explain this outfit. The last two games were amazing. Lamar Odom is refusing to accept Rob Kardashian's kidney. Partly because Lamar Odom doesn't feel like he's worthy, but mostly because the kidney's not crack. NASA says a meteor came dangerously close to Earth on Halloween. My greatest fear is that one of those will someday hit this planet and the Kardashians will survive. Kyle and Kendall Jenner both made Time Magazine's 30 Most Influential Teenagers list. As a result, the United States made the world's most screwed-up country list. Insiders say Gwyneth Paltrow was rude and insufferable at an awards show on the weekend. Though, to be fair, she's Gwyneth Paltrow. Being rude and insufferable is, you know, kind of her thing. A new study claims 37% of vegetarians admit to eating meat when they're drunk. Vegetarians call it getting burger goggles. The Anderson Police Department in North California is replacing nightsticks with nunchucks. Also, bulletproof vests will be shaped like turtle shells and will be worn on the officers' backs. William Shatner has been on Twitter trash-talking the new Star Wars movie. Whatever happened to the good old days when retired old people were happy to just sit on the porch and wave at passing cars? Phil Collins announced that he's coming out of retirement. That's good news for Keith Richards, who was running out of musical acts to make fun of. Next week, two books will come out detailing the financial corruption at the Vatican. For example, is it a coincidence that there's nothing but high-ranking priests in the first three rows behind home plate at the World Series? And despite literally countless sexual assault charges, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce has repeated they will not remove Bill Cosby's star from the Walk of Fame. They do, however, suggest women in skirts walk around it. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. The Jewel Radio Network, proud to present Frank D'Angelo and his 18-piece band Fall Concert Tour. Friday, November 13th at Casino Teatro Lac Lame in Gatineau. Saturday, November 14th at Teatro Corona Virgin Mobile. Saturday, November 21st at the Garrick Entertainment Center in Winnipeg. And Saturday, November 28th at Stonewall's Restaurant in Hamilton.